Welcome to Titan fellow gamers. In this episode of Let's Try Industries of Titan, I'm going to showcase the new fuel systems, updated transport hubs, fuel fabricators and turbines, as well as the new air purifier building. There are many more updates and changes to the game introduced in this new content update called Fuels Errand. And because of this, I have started a brand new game in the standard mode. In this mode, the rebels won't be able to attack me forever, like in the survival mode, as I will have the ability to uncover and eliminate their camps using the command centers. So let's check out all the new buildings. So first of all, the developers have changed up a little bit here down in the menu. Now you have the logistics, which hold the storage facility, roads and transport hub. As you can see, I have already built these transport hubs and they now have an area of influence, which you will see now when I actually enable these buildings. Now only the roads that are under this area of influence do work, so in this city I've actually had to build two of these to cover all the roads. The problem that I currently have is that there is just too much pollution generated by these roads and you can see just how high the pollution is gonna go now. I'm currently being attacked so that is something I have to deal with as well. I didn't go burrow because I wanted to show you the city so I might take some serious damage here on my smokestack and my headquarters probably as well. We'll see how this turns out. Yeah, that was a lot of damage. I almost lost my energy depot. So that's going to require a lot of fixing as well as these turrets, which will need to be fixed. But as soon as I turn off these turrets, I'm going to keep showing you the rest of the new stuff that is in this new update called Fuel Zerrand. Now, currently, as I repair these buildings, I have some time to show off the new stuff. So, as I was saying, the roads now give you a high degree of pollution. Now the problem with this is that you have to pass the roads through and next to these buildings so that they would actually have use of these roads and these trucks. But they do create pollution so fast that I've actually had to build air purifiers which are one of the new buildings. Now these air purifiers have their job in actually extracting all of this pollution from the air and purifying it as well as the zetane. This is the gas instead of methane which is actually on Titan in real life. The game calls it zetane. So this is something that now you use for fuel turbines, as you will be able to see here. These crevices, where there used to be nothing really important gameplay-wise, now it's important because here you have these fuel turbines, which offer you the ability to get the actual amount of gas that you need for the fuel turbines to collect fuel, which then you burn at the energy plants and energy generators inside buildings to create power. Now here you can see that I'm draining batteries even though all of my turrets are offline. This is because I'm probably spending a lot of energy here on this air purifier. So in order to deal with this and since I do have lots of fuel I'm going to have to upgrade in my floor 3 of my HQ more of these large generators which I'm going to place like this and the other one is going to go like this. Oops, my mistake. So like this and that means that i need an industrial outlet here and an energy relay here these buildings are going to provide the necessary energy and they're going to be spending the fuel that i have extra now all that fuel is stored in the fuel silo but the problem is this thing can explode with collateral damage done to the buildings around it that is why i have tried not to place too many buildings around it i only have the transport hub and the air purifier now this building is quite expensive so it's kind of a problem that i placed it next to a fuel silo but I do hope that the rebels do not blow up my fuel silo. Now of course hoping is not the best idea, you should prepare for the worst, so this is probably why I'm going to move this air purifier somewhere else once I actually figure out how to deal with all the pollution. The other problem, similar to pollution, is waste. I'm generating just so much waste from the two residential buildings at level 3, they have to be kept clean by prioritizing clean waste and smokestack supply. So this way that waste goes to the smokestacks and then is burnt away. But I just have so much of it creating air pollution that it's becoming a real issue. And over here in the factory I'm just building more and more waste receptacles because not even with two smokestacks am I able to actually get rid of all this waste. And you can see just how much has piled up. Now I did get a lot of it from surveying and extracting ruins, that's true. But I've actually burned off all of that and I still have a huge amount of waste being piled up and unable to actually burn it off all. Now this is an additional reason why I had to use the air purifiers because they are the only building that can handle at least some of the pollution being generated. This one is at level 3 and it's barely managing to fight off the pollution while this one over here is level 2 
And these buildings, the residential buildings of level 3, have pollution resistance up to 39%. But you can see that the pollution is up to 60. And even with this building leveled up even further, it's going to require even more energy, which I'm currently short on, which is something that I have to deal with if I want to actually be able to supply enough energy to all those buildings. So I'm going to rename floor 3 to power as well, because this is the part of the building that I'm using for more power. Now I should have enough fuel for all of these generators, but as you can see, I'm probably going to need more. So I'm going to see about building some extra ones somewhere else. Now you can see that I actually made some waste receptacles in here as well, but all of them are practically full and I will need to find a way to deal with all the garbage being created. And this thing also needs to be repaired. And you can see that the smokestacks, I now need to give them more employees as the danger has passed and I'm not under attack so I don't need employees to run operations at the defensive turrets. I cannot simply burn all of this trash and I'm not sure have the developers got it wrong in the last patch and up the production of waste too much that now it's become a real problem and an issue getting rid of all that trash how much is this 20 waste for 40 minerals and six isotopes nope i'm not gonna get that but i do need some population and additionally when i'm uh, talking about waste and pollution i'm having a problem because as i showed you that pollution resistance in these buildings is not enough against all this pollution so the air quality is poor as you can see here if i go and show pollution you can see that everything is polluted because of the small stacks and the transportation hubs. So the problem here is that this pollution is killing my citizens who are living in these residential areas. Now you might say, why didn't I just put these residential areas somewhere else and the smokestacks far off? Well, because I have to cover everything with defensive turrets and I couldn't possibly build enough turrets to defend everything, nor would it be feasible logistically to transfer all the waste from these buildings all the way, for example, somewhere over here because these guys are really slow at it and when you see how much pollution is created by these trucks you get the idea that these aren't really a solution so this is why oops i didn't want to dismantle it i just want to turn, turn it off so i'm going to turn off these and this is why at the start of the episode these were turned off because that is the only way to deal with the pollution now i'm probably just gonna wait for a patch for the pollution coming off the roads and trucks to be reduced I mean, the developers did give us the air purifiers, so these should be able to deal with some of the pollution, but as you can see, getting the roads and trucks all over the city is quite dangerous and there's just too much pollution. Now, I could redo my design and, like I said, transfer some buildings over, for example, the residential buildings over here, the smokestacks to push them up here, but, like I said, it's kind of difficult to defend everything with the turrets. It's not something that I'm refusing to do, I'm just saying it may be a little bit too much pollution and waste generation going on right now. But as the developers continuously update and patch the game, I'm pretty sure they'll find something of a golden middle between how much pollution is generated and how much pollution can be dealt with. But for now, I have to deal with this, so my solution at the moment is going to be to upgrade the fuel turbine, get more fuel, and when I have more fuel, I'm going to be able to increase the amount of power that I have. When increasing the amount of power that I have, I can increase the amount of turrets that I can place. And then I can see about moving the smokestacks over here, cleaning up some of these patches here. And then having my folks, my employees, take all the pollution generated from the city over to the smokestacks to be burned. And hopefully that pollution won't be reaching my residential areas anymore. So you can see that now that these roads are off, the pollution at the residential areas is down from 50 to 22% and over here at the factory is 22%. So I can deal with the pollution if only the smokestacks are generating it with the air purifiers, but I cannot deal with it if I have trucks going through these roads. So that is something that I said that kind of seems like too much. Okay, now I'm going to have a serious problem because I didn't place the upgrade building as a prioritized task and so my employees were cleaning waste and supplying the smokestacks. So now I'm going to drain all the energy that I have, but I'm going to fix that by disabling the smokestacks, which spend a lot of power, the air purifiers, which also spend a lot of power. And so I should remain at enough power to just keep these batteries running a little bit longer so that the fuel turbine can get upgraded. And once it's upgraded, I will have enough fuel for all the buildings creating power. Well, this thing, uh, the energy plant has already stopped producing because I ran out of fuel. So now everything is going to kind of ground to a halt. But hopefully as soon as this is upgraded to level 2 and it should be done in moments, I will have fuel once again and then the power will commence production once again. That should be happening right about now. There we go. 
with fuel generated at 50 now i have access to fuel and access to power and now i can turn back on the air purifiers and the smokestacks to keep burning all this trash but mentioning trash that is another problem like i explained that i'm dealing with that these two buildings by themselves and there are a few more buildings that create trash over here at the habitat pods and the conversion capsule they do create some waste but it seems that the majority of the waste is created by these two residences at level 3 as they do show in the tooltip if we go here they create one waste per resident every three minutes and you'd think you'd be able to burn all of that off with the smokestacks two of them one at level three and one at level two but that's not actually happening and i'm just stockpiling more and more trash so i really need to find a way as you can see these things are already filling with trash only because the clean waste is not a prioritized task and now i'll move the upgrade building down again and these should probably start getting cleaned now that i have enough employees i'm at 20 so maybe i just need more employees and more smokestacks honestly i didn't expect this compared to the previous gameplay where i didn't need so many smokestacks so it's probably that i just didn't realize just how many of these do i need and i am going to try and move them up over here to reduce the pollution generated over here at the residential areas so that i don't have to pay so much in power and workers for these air purifiers but once again getting that trash from these buildings over to the smokestacks is going to take forever if they walk but as i showed you if i use the roads and trucks then i create more air pollution which then creates an additional problem so what i could try is make another of these storage facilities build it for example over here and then have them transfer that from the residential areas over here somewhere and then from there the trucks could take it to the smokestacks so that's the idea that i'm working on right now but like i said for that to happen i need to cover this area with more cannons well maybe i could transfer them somewhere else perhaps somewhere more easily manageable so now if i take a look at this area and think about whether or not can i move my smokestacks there the problem is that it would still be close to my residential areas so my best idea is still to move the smokestacks over here but in order to do that i'm going to have to destroy some of these ruins to have enough room for the smokestacks the roads and to be able to place some of those uh, defensive towers which are going to protect these smokestacks from getting destroyed i also have to get the power there so that means building an energy pylon and as we can see here i'll salvage this and once these are finished they can see okay more salvaging and considering the fact that i can't really get the roads to be useful here i'm going to dismantle all, all of these roads because as you saw they just produce too much pollution and that would just keep creating problems for my citizens so i'm going to dismantle these in order to remove that problem and i'm going to only keep a certain amount of roads that are going to be up here so that i can transfer that waste a bit faster from for example this transport hub all the way there to the smokestacks of course i will be moving the smokestacks as well all the way up there as soon as these areas are cleaned up but in order to do that i do need to tell my employees to actually be collecting these isotopes so that i can move them into the supply over here i think i do need to add yeah this container is full so up here i'm going to have to make another container so that i have an actual place to store all of that loot the <laughs> To store all of those resources that i picked up and i'm probably going to need some more waste receptacles here as well okay that should deal with that and here in the middle i think i could build some more batteries although the power relay doesn't really reach over here so i'm gonna go with a large fuel tank then instead okay so as you can see now this isotope patch is going to be mined and then taken away whoa i'm down to four citizens uh no I have current living space for oh right these things filled up with trash once again and as you can see as soon as i stopped cleaning waste they got so full of waste that my citizens no longer have a place to live at <laughs> and as you can see i'm kind of in a problem where i just do not have enough employees to actually do everything i only have enough employees to clean up and send the waste to be burned i do not even have employees to finish this uh, destruction of these roads nor do i have enough employees to pick up all the isotopes so i'm in a real pickle here i'm going to keep playing this and i just wanted to showcase everything that was new and different in this update to you and i'll see you in the next episode thank you all for watching and please stay tuned for more